In recent weeks, San Diego has seen a generous amount of rain and even a bit of snow. But it isn't nearly enough to end California's drought, of course. And at the same time, some San Diegans are doing all they can to capture the rainwater and harvest it. CBS News 8's Jeff Devely is live in Encinitas with one expert who is sharing his knowledge. Jeff? Carlo, December was a wet month. In fact, we're 33% ahead of the normal schedule for our rainy season, which means people all across the county who like to grow plants are trying to figure out how to capture the gifts from above. This whole slope can be hydrated for free. For the past two decades, Brad Lancaster has educated people on how to capture rain, and he says you can do it too. Absolutely. Yeah, anyone can do this. And uh, if you've got a roof, you're super set. Lancaster is sharing his knowledge with the Leech Tag Foundation. Their 67-acre ranch educates the public about agriculture and grows food to feed people. We're learning a lot from Brad. I mean, Darren Joffe, who is known as Farmer D, says Lancaster is helping divert rainwater for their crops. We don't get much of it here, but when we do, we want to try to maximize our ability to capture it. Brad Lancaster has sold 50,000 copies of his rainwater harvesting book, inspiring people across the country, including the McFarland family here in Encinitas. Ten years ago, Duncan McFarland started trapping water in barrels and tanks that flow off his roof through rain gutters. So I've got a couple of ways that I get it out. The easiest way. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. Open the spigot, yeah, because it's full. Duncan says just a quarter of an inch of rain can trap enough water to nourish his tangerines, red peppers, lemon trees, and more. Rainwater has a little bit of nitrogen in it, so it's a bit more nutritious for plants, too. McFarlane installed his system for less than $1,500. The only problem? When all this equipment showed up, his wife, Terry, got confused. And I thought, oh my gosh, he's surprising the family with a hot tub for Christmas. And then I saw a second one behind it, and I, my dream was over. The McFarlands also trap water in the earth by not raking their leaves, a strategy Brad Lancaster endorses. The leaves are called leaves because we're supposed to leave them. Lancaster says especially during a drought, every drop counts. It may be cliche, but we got to keep saying it because it's true. And if you'd like to learn more about Brad Lancaster's book or read it, just click on our hot button at CBS8.com. Carlo and Barbara Lee. Jeff, we understand Brad is actually speaking tonight in Encinitas and that it's a full house, so obviously a lot of people really interested in this concept. Yeah, he's speaking here at the Leash Tag Foundation. It's filled to capacity, Barbara Lee, and it sounds like I need to come back here for a follow-up story because he's going to tell them how to capture that rainwater, and with that knowledge, they're going to grow what's called a four-acre food forest. The public will be allowed to walk through this forest and pick all the fruit and nuts they want. So it sounds like a really neat project, and Brad's going to help them out with that. It's pretty amazing. All right, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, good for the environment. You good got for it. your checkbook. It's a great idea.